right. As promised. Cap seal's bonding just a little bit, but I think it's okay. If not, I'll tear it off. Not a big deal. I'll redo it. But slight breeze. I'm in that big field downtown again. Um, so, as any time you do this, a little bit nervous, but it is what it is. The problem is there's no place to grab this thing, really. Tail heavy for sure. Tail heavy. And I forgot the fishing weights. <sighs> so, it's a good first start. Not too bad. No peg here, guys. Doing it whippet style. Side arm only. Just an extra little bit of fiberglass on the tip here. Just don't think it's necessary. It's as small as this thing is. Ended up 74.5 grams. Looks like I'm gonna have to add a couple of pinches of lead to the nose when I get home. But uh, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's give it a try. It's no launch mode. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, tail heavy. Having to, I'm having to push the nose over to get it to go anywhere. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. oh well. That's cool. I was worried about this three millimeter boom I'm using. It's got quite a bit of flex and torque to it. And I was really worried about it tail around too much on launch, but it seems to be okay. That was no launch mode, kind of went straight up. I don't think it actually needs launch mode at all. I think it's probably going to do a loop if I do that. So I'm going to leave that off. But the boom seems to be okay. The only reason I chose that is because just about every other nano I looked at through history has used something really thin like this. You can see it moving around in the wind, but I mean, shoot. I was going to go to 5 millimeter, but that would have been way too heavy. Would have added 20 grams to this thing total with the nose weight needed. So there's no way it would have been closer to 100, which is no bueno. It's 75 grams. I think we're pushing the envelope here of being a little bit too heavy. But uh, yeah, let's try it again. Two, three. Oh, this thing launches great, actually. Oh, it's. Oh, having rudder is so amazing. Look at the turn. It's, it's so much better than Proto 1 just because it has a rudder. Did you see how it carved that turn there? I could not get the first one to do anything of the sort. Two, three. Uh, getting some flutter, but these are tiny servos. Not surprised. at least half a gram in the nose, maybe one gram. <laughs> gotcha. All right, one more for the video's sake. So I got thermal mode. I've been in cruise mode, which is just a little bit of camber. Can't see it. I haven't tried speed mode, not necessary. Cruise mode's good, I think, where I got it. It's about two millimeters of actual camber in it, but it makes this flat bottom airfoil a little floatier. So I think job setting this thing up. I'm not going to try landing mode right now because I don't think we need it in this one, but even though it's there, as you can see. We don't need that though. This guy's so light. This thing's a feather. Um, all right. Two, three. Oh, it's got to be 60 feet or more, 70 feet, 60 feet or so. Not bad for a sidearm little it's better than any whippet I've ever seen a video of. My attract crosswind, really nice. Uh oh, oh. 
that's me. I'm 25 years removed on the sticks here. I'm still a little nervous about it all, to truthfully tell you. <laughs> but we're getting better. Now I got something I can actually fly a lot of while I build the next one. All right, let's film one more here, and then I'm gonna turn this camera off and fly it some more. One, two, three. Like the other little one, it doesn't penetrate much, but that is not bad at all, guys. That's into about a oh about a three mile three knot steady wind. Maybe four. Maybe. Uh oh. Okay. I'm gonna call this successful. Y'all have a good rest of your day.